lot of us are struggling and you know it's nice to know that you're not alone and you know when i knew that i wasn't alone it actually helped me you know be able to get better The King of Staten Island, I want to know what was the catalyst for both of you coming together to work on this? Well, I worked with Pete on Trainwreck. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, we started kicking out a bunch of movie ideas and slowly we tiptoed to a much more personal area. One day we started talking about a story which would be about a character wanting his mom to be happy and uh, what happens when she starts dating another fireman and he has to confront all these issues which have held him back in his life. And Pete, like you really bear your soul in this one. And I just want to know, you know, how were you able to per push through working on this project? Um, well, working on this project was really healing for me. And my goal from day one was, you know, if we get to do this, maybe I can move past this in my life and, you know, start a new chapter and be fresh. Why was Judd the person you wanted to collaborate with to help tell this story? Well, I think, you know, Judd's, you know, the greatest comedy director of all time. So, you mm -hmm. know, if you get the chance to work with him, you're really lucky. I was saying this earlier, it's like getting a golden ticket and then being, you know, asked to go into Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory to get to see <laughs> how he does all these, you know, special things. And I just feel really grateful that I was able to share it with him and also really grateful to be able to call him a friend. And Judd, I, I read somewhere where you said, you know, you had kind of been looking for a project like this. And I'm wondering how you approached a story that is so poignant and also personal. Well, part of developing something like this is, you know, we just spent months talking about Pete's life I spent a lot of time talking to his friends and his mom and things just start bubbling up. If you just take notes and think of scenes, sometimes a story just reveals itself. You know, can a young man open up his heart to a potential stepdad? You know, that we would be in the terrain of a lot of the stuff that Pete's gone through. So even though it's fictional, it's emotionally very truthful. Mm -hmm. And Pete was very generous about being willing to, you know, dig deep to tell a story like this, because it's very meaningful to people who you know, have been through these types of events. You don't get to act crazy your whole life just because dad died, okay? At least you got to know him. Well, you're lucky you didn't get to know him, okay? Because that's why you're almost normal. If you got to know him, you would have known that he was like the coolest guy ever. And that would have ruined the rest of your life. Something I noticed is that there's such a universality to so many themes that are present in this movie. The one that resonated with me the most is how you can hate where you're from and also realize that it's a part of you. What shaped that theme in this movie and, and have either of you had an experience like that? I think we knew that that island was so important to Pete. You know, that's where he grew up with his dad and his family. And it's been a place where he feels a lot of love and it has a, a lot of history. And I certainly understand that feeling where like you want to leave, but really it is you. Like when we shot on Staten Island, I'm from Long Island. I, I didn't know why I was so happy. I just <laughs> felt like it was such a familiar place. So no matter how long you leave for, I left Long Island in 1985. I, I couldn't feel more Long Island right now. Yeah, I, I had a lot of history in Staten Island. So like when I come here, I feel all of those emotions. So right. it was really nice to like be able to like deal with that with such a loving cast and crew and like people that have my back. You know, all of us have battles with mental health and, and all the demons we have. I do think it's so commendable that you are using such a public platform and space to share yours. What motivates you to do that? Well, when I was growing up, I had Kid Cudi, who is always very open about, you know, his mental health struggles. I only felt that it would make sense to, you know, pay it forward because mm -hmm. a lot of us are struggling. And, you know, it's nice to know that you're not alone. And, you know, when I knew that I wasn't alone, it actually helped me, you know, be able to get better. I was so inspired to see how thoughtful everyone was behind the scenes in making Pete feel comfortable. And I want to know, Judd, why that was such a priority for you. It, it really is a gift when someone's willing to share their story. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our stories, stories are very sensitive and they come from trauma and pain. And I've made movies which were personal to me. So I always respect that someone is doing something they don't need to do. Mm -hmm. And it, it is something that is sacred 
And I want it to come out well for them. And I want them to feel like it was a positive experience to open up like that. What is it about comedy that lends itself to being such an effective conduit for such personal and emotional storytelling? It's hard to know. It's just for me, it's just always been there. I just felt like that's the filter through which I saw the world, that the world sometimes was really rough or I didn't think it was fair. And I love that comedians called out all the bullshit mm -hmm. and it helped me mm -hmm. make sense of it all. No, I feel the exact same way. Just being able to tell these stories through a comedic lens is mm -hmm. very healing. There's something very healing about being able to laugh at something that is, you know, maybe hard to laugh at. And then Pete, have, have you had the opportunity to share this film with your family yet? Yes, uh, I did have a screening for my family and they all really loved it. And, you know, it, it is a tribute to my family. And, you know, I really appreciate what my mom and sister have done for me and how they always have looked out for me. And I just feel really fortunate to have such a loving family. And the least I could do was, you know, make a tribute to them. And I'm, I'm really glad that they enjoyed it and loved it. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this episode of I Have a Question. Talking to people is like literally one of the best parts of my job and I'm so glad I get to share it with you. And also thanks for sticking around to hear me babble at the end of every video. If you wanna see more, be sure to like click over here and also like and subscribe down below. Do it.